Hello, welcome to my channel Judge All Nation. In this video Christian Prince will made understanding and education about Islam to all Muslims. Also Christian Prince educates Muslims that in the Lord Jesus there is truth and no other. Now let's take a look and see what Christian Prince will tell you by arguing with Muslims. Enjoy watching this video and God bless you. And now we go to Google Translation in front of your eyes. I will copy and paste the sentence as it is. Take fun women. Fun is in the language of human. <laughs> Translation is horrible. But this way it says, He is saying we will take lahu and lahu is meant the women in the dialect of Yemen. You see it? So this is the first line in the book of Al-Qurtubi. This is not me saying that. This is them. This is the Muhammad and themselves saying that. We have somebody trying to call us. Let's see. I hope he's a Muslim. Hello? Long time. <laughs> yes. <sighs> okay, so um basically I'm Moroccan All right. and um yes and um I've been watching your videos for like a month or so now. All right. Um you're so convincing to be honest. Um I <laughs> I tried, um, like, I'm so convinced, to be honest now, and um, <sighs> the problem is that I tried to talk to my father about it, like, to ask him more questions, because I don't have, more like, much people to ask, and okay. uh, I don't trust, I don't trust uh, those... Uh, you know, imams and stuff because they already don't respect women. Like they don't even want to talk to you. Yeah, you so, are you are like a you you are like a, a different creature. You are a down creature. You know, you are not even worth talking to. Yeah, like they don't even like try to look at you. Like, and you feel like they are talking fast. Like they are just trying to get you off. Like just, I mean, like go away, go away. You know. It's not a good feeling. So um, I tried to talk to my dad, but uh, the first question I asked him is about the Jews. I was like, okay, uh, no, about Arab. I'm sorry, about Arabs. I was like, okay, so uh, Arab came from uh, the Jews, all right? Then how they became Arab? And he started telling me the story that doesn't make any sense. And I was like, okay. And then I asked him about other things that you said in your channel and all his answers were like so weird and I told him about the story like why the Christian uh, like why Jesus story is different in Islam because you know Jesus in Islam he was born in Sahara under a, a palm tree right yeah. yeah and I was like why is it different and he was like and he was like um, well, it's corrupt from there, not from us. Like us, God already told us the original story, so they are wrong. And I was like, "Wow!" I mean, so it's all true. Have you ever, have you ever, uh, like you, you said, you are from Morocco? Have you ever, like, yes. uh, in touch with the palm tree before? We have palm trees. You have a palm tree in the <laughs> yard. Okay, I want you to do this today. After you finish but talking they're, to they're me. Fake, they're fake. I'm not in Morocco now. Um, I ran from there. I'm, I'm oh, okay, I understand, I understand. But I mean, anyway, like if you get the chance one day to see a palm tree, I want you to do yeah. something very, the, the Quran speak of. Uh, okay. The Quran says when G, when when Mary, uh, she uh, wanted to give birth uh, and she want to eat, she is hungry. 
she was able to shake the palm tree. Exactly, exactly. Like the palm tree is so fucking like thick. No, don't you, like it's so no, big no, to no, the point. No, no bad language, please. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Um, like it's so like big and huge to the point that you can't even like roll your hand around it. Like how no, can you I, shake I, it? I, I, I wanna I wanna show you how Mary she used to be I was able to do that. She used to go to the gym every day. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> she go she go to the gym every day and she practice and she got muscles and this is very makes sense, you know. And now she is going to deliver a child and she is hungry. I'm so glad that she should not even take the tree from the ground, the olive tree. I mean, who in the world can believe such a story that a female woman, she is carrying a baby and now she is going to deliver. How did she can move? Not only she is a female, uh, who is the male he can shake a tree? What a tree, a palm tree. And if you shake it from the bomb, you can make that the, the date fail from the top. And how you can shake the bomb of a palm tree? So not only the story is different from our stories, it's totally stupid story. I know, I know, like exactly. And look, like, because even men, like when they climb palm tree to get the dates, like they climb it. They don't take it. Even if you climb well, it, still you have to use a sharp tool so you can cut the, the, yeah. the thing. They are very hard to fail. They don't fail that easy. I mean, they will fail only if, if they are like done. They are rotten, you know? So uh, uh, you cannot just make, uh, shake the tree, especially in the bottom of the tree. Like, you know, if I say maybe Mary, she was like uh, 20 meters tall and she got the, the, the little, little tiny branch where they have some date and she shake it, eh, but we know that the palm tree, uh, you know, they, they come like a, uh, uh, like a big uh, branch full of yeah, date. And there is no way a person can shake the ground of the tree. We are talking about tree in the palm, you know. If, uh, if the tree, maybe it was a grape, I would say, okay, grape, maybe, you know. It's possible. You can shake it. Uh, but this is a palm tree. Yeah, she was uh, Samson, you know. Yeah, so so what what do you think? Uh, I don't know what to call you. What uh, you, you don't need to say your um, you don't have to say your name. You can give me any name you wish. Um, I don't know, like R Ray, anything. It's okay. Like I don't. Okay, really... I will call you Fatima. Here we go. I gave you a name. No, bro. Not no. Fatima. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no. um, it's it's okay. You don't have to copy anything. All Just right. Girl so what? So what do you think? As long as you are convinced, I, I feel like you are. I mean, you already you noticed that Islam is a really stupid religion. Uh, what did you ask your father about? Uh, like, uh, why in the heaven? As long as you are a lady, why in the heaven the Muslim man will have a lot of women for sex, and the women she will get nothing. She will be just a toy. What is the reward for you the women? See, you see, I didn't even get to ask this question. Um, I'm, to be honest, I'm lucky that my family is not that crazy, you know, like, because, you know, Arab people, like, they're so crazy that you can't even have a conversation with your father. Yeah. But I'm lucky that my father, at least, he's listening. He doesn't really say bad stuff or, like, uh, uh, I mean, he's willing to listen. But his answers are so, like stupid i'm sorry but yeah. my dad's answers are not logical at all and um i i i just like the first uh, questions i asked him were like enough to prove to me that he's um the way he's thinking i don't know it's it's uh, it's a little bit scary like literally like you think everyone is corrupt except you like Everything like the Bible, the 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 Torah. I forgot. You I see, no no problem. It. Even if that is the logic, no problem. But can you still he answer about the stupid things in the Quran? Let us say the well, Christian books is corrupted, the Jews books corrupted. Everybody is corrupted except the Muslims. Okay, but then when we ask the Muslim a question about Muhammad saying something, they will say the Hadith is daif. Correct. Yeah. I told him about when the goat ate the Quran and he was like, I mean, we already have en enough Quran to read than to add more. Like if you add more, maybe we wouldn't even 
be able to finish it. Like, who will give you this kind of answer? Just but, please, but, like, but oh he is my the God. one who is saying that they are corrupt. But now we find that the the, the religion is corrupt because when they say the hadith is da'if, that's mean hadith is Islam. Hadith is Islam, and hadith is look, what Muhammad said. If you say to me that the hadith is corrupt, that's mean Islam is corrupt. So you accuse us of corruption. Same time, what about the sunset in a murky water? What about the I, prophet I explaining that? I will just tell you something because I can't, I'm an Arab. I understand that you are also an Arab, but I'm an Arab female. And I know how Arab men are. are. They're so like, mm, like they're so stubborn. And they created this thing is Hadith Da'if and Hadith Qawi. There is no such a Hadith Da'if. And I don't it's know. It's just hadith, an excuse, like, correct? Super, it's just an yes, excuse to exactly, run away from. Yeah, yeah they just. Did this like maybe read it through like people get got smarter basically and had more uh chance to read that shit and then they were like oh okay then this is maybe this maybe wouldn't be good to the religion and this maybe will be good to the religion so put this as a daif and put this as a, a strong hadith like i don't actually believe in this thing it's just an excuse to be honest to you know, hide more you know what you just to prove that Muhammad is a liar. You know, I don't know if you know the, the hadith where Muhammad, he said that women are half a brain. So yeah, how I mean, come <laughs> how come a half a brain, the oh, men, the men, they can't answer her? I mean, if she is half a brain, right? How come those Arab men, even their own, her family, they cannot answer the half a brain? She is answering, she is asking smart questions. They are giving stupid answers. So who is the one half a brain? And this is what Muhammad said in the hadith. This is Sahih hadith. Muhammad he claimed that the majority of women they will go to hell. Okay, why Muhammad? Muhammad he gave the excuse. He says they are ungrateful. And the top of that, they are they have half a brain and half religion, half wisdom, half faith. Why? Because they they have they have ministration, and that keep them away from the prayer. Can you believe it that there's somebody yeah. claimed that he is smart? Now, so the woman now she will go to hell because she had menstruation. Is that her fault? Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Another thing is that um, I asked my dad about like why. Uh, no, no, this one I I'm so interested in because I'm not interested in Arab men at all because I know how they are, especially Muslim Arab men. And I asked my dad. So if a Muslim woman want to marry like a Christian or Jewish person, is it okay? And he was, I still remember in 2018, he was like, no, it's not. It's only like uh, allowed for men. And then I was like, then why? And I kept like insisting on my question. And then he was like, I, anyway, do whatever you want. And uh, just like two weeks ago, I re-asked him again. And he was like, yeah yeah it's 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 okay like as long as men can marry christian or jewish women then uh men, women can also marry a christian and a jewish man but like i don't think no that's not that's true. the case right yeah your prophet uh, sorry sorry your father he do not know really what he's talking about uh, uh yeah. muslim men only is allowed to marry uh women who they are christian or jews and the purpose of that is to spread islam and to increase the number so they will I take mean, the women, obvious. yeah, they will take the women of the Christians, so they will have less women, and they will be able to have less children. But uh, Muslim women, they cannot marry Christians. So obviously your father, he do not know anything about Islam. You know, he's a Muslim by name, uh, you, or, obviously. But you know... No, he... Yeah. He claims he knows because he's a Hajj. Ah, and he went to he Mecca? Has, like, we have those... Uh, we have the those, hat? Uh, yeah, he's a has mm, Yeah. And uh, but, he he have like those uh religious books like a lot of them like I don't know. Some of them are even not allowed in Morocco, but he have them. Mm. So he claims that he knows, but when I asked him, he didn't give me any answer. So that gives me like a final answer which is I'm so confused. I don't know now who to ask. Mm, I I I was suggested to go and find like a a, a a foreigner imam, but I know the answer. I know what they will say, so I'm just not convinced of this religion anymore. Let me let me call Zakir Nag for you, Zakir. I. You would like to talk to her, Christian Prince. 
First of all, I'm very busy right now. And I'm doing eating the cheese kebab. Exactly, Nick. She is going to leave Islam if you don't help her. Please come on and talk to her. First of all, Christian and Prince, Muslim women they are stupid. And I'm not going to listen to them. Never speak to Muslim women. They are half a brain. The Prophet of Allah said that they will go to hell. Exactly, Nick. If you're a Muslim woman, they will go to hell. That means your mother, she is going to go to hell too. Christian and Prince, my mother is already in hell because they gave birth to me. This is what they will say to you. Stupid answers. So let me ask you. You remind me of something. You remind me of something about my mom. My mom, when I start asking those questions, and because I, 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 I stop, um, I stop praying now. I, I was a good prayer. Um, uh, I, I'm also, I like fasting, not only for the, for the religion th part, but also for, I don't know, I just like it. And uh, my mom kind of like felt that I stopped praying, and she was like. Well, you know, if you don't pray out like and you did something bad about the religion, then we will all go to hell, not only you. We will all get wow. punished. <laughs> and I was like, if, if if it's my it's like it's my thing, like I'm a yeah, bad she, religious. Islam why based, you will go to hell? Yeah, Islam like, is based I'm on like, fear. You know, she's trying to make you feel oh guilty. Yeah, she's trying to make you feel guilty. With my respect to your mother, she you, with my respect to your mother, she is trying to play the devil now. She's trying to be smart, supposedly, and she wanna make you feel guilty that if you don't pray, you know what? Because of you, I will go to hell too. Which is even Islam doesn't teach. That's not true. But uh, the the question is when you pray and you are repeating the same thing five times a day, how that I can know. be a prayer, how boring it is. Listen. If I call a person now, I say, Bismillah, Alhamdulillahim, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Amin, Bidur, Rabbil Amin, Bidur, Rabbil Amin, Bidur, Rabbil Amin, Amin. Okay. And then I call you back after two hours. Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, Amin. Before even you answer the phone, Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Amin, 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 Rabbil I mean, aren't you going to hang up on me and you will hate to talk to me and you will never listen to me? How boring it is to repeat the same prayer, which is not even a prayer because it's what Allah said, not what you said. At about prayer, you know, because Muslims, they say like, oh, you have to pray so God will, you know, listen to you and like uh, uh, reply you basically. Like if you asked him about something, he will give you, right? Hmm. But I was always like questioning then why Christians, why Jewish, why even atheists? Like they don't pray like we pray, but still God like listen to them, you know? When they ask God or when they're like, oh my God, I'm in trouble or like I need this to be solved, then God help them. So there is something that it's not right, right? You see, first of all, when you pray, as an example, you pray like a noon time, right? Let us say the, the noontime prayer. Do you know that Allah, He come only in the third part of the night to listen to the Muslim prayer? Uh, this one I don't know, but my mom told me that the angels in uh, in Salat Al-Asr, they switch. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I know, I used to believe, I swear I'm not lying. This was like, um, anyway, she used to tell me that, okay, there is morning angels and there is night angels. Right, so right. So morning angels, like the ones that, that they send in our sides, you know? Right. Like, it's like those ones, they work from morning to the asr. And then when you pray Asr, they will go to the sky and tell God the Hasanat and say it you did. Ah. And then the, the other ones will come and like replace. <laughs> yeah. It, and then we'll work until see, night in it's in the front of me, I don't know if you can see the screen. Uh, there's a hadith yeah. here it says, uh, the Messenger of Allah he said, Our Lord, the blessed, the superior, comes every night down in the, the nearest heaven, nearest heaven to us. Yeah. When the last third of the night remains, saying, "If there is anyone, uh, anyone to invoke me, so that I may re respond to his invitation," so Allah come only at the third part of the night, and which means all the Muslim prayer is happening in the wrong timing. And what your mom she said to me, you about the angels they will switch. Well, this is the hadith. Allah He come in the third part of the night. He is not waiting for the angels to come down to bring. At the same time, the angels take them 1,000 years to go. The Quran says so. Uh, 1,000 years. So if you pray now, 
the angel in order to take your prayer to Allah is going to take him 1,000 years to go to report the prayer you know so what what your mother she's talking about obviously she don't know what she's saying but here you know the question is why Allah the need to come down to the the to the lowest heaven to hear the Muslims maybe he have a bad reception can't he hear it from his chair you know exactly. and uh, when Muhammad he says the third part of the night well we don't have one night time zone right we have many I mean when it's daytime in here it is night in different uh, different place yeah. so that's mean Allah like a yo-yo keep coming up and coming down you know because he have to come in every place in the third part of the night but because Muhammad he think the earth is a flat and all of us we have one time so Allah will come down in the third part of the night and can the Muslim they say this is a weak hadith no this is al-Bukhari and the same hadith is exist in Sahih Muslim Islam is yeah, like Islam is a stupid religion very stupid I mean this is the, the, the this is the religion of stupidity what you can say you know they they ask you to pray at night like I've been asked from my mom my dad never they don't my, my dad doesn't care about my religious side he's just like he's doing his thing you know but my mom is more like yeah you have to pray you have to do you blah blah blah, blah. anyway um I've been asked from my mom to ask to pray at night so many times like yo wake like especially in ramadan she'd be like wake up at three like to pray oh my god i'm like so sleepy like why there is morning and there is night so we could wake up in the morning do our yeah, because, thing maybe uh, even uh, pray if you stay late allah, and, this is the only time allah he come down to the earth allah exactly, allah like, is a allah is a batman he work only at night time you know yeah well uh, uh, if, if there is any question I, you know you, you need me to answer you to help you I will be happy to answer you um uh, for now I'm still like because um I would say I, I left Islam but I still have that problem because I told you I was a good Muslim I before I eat I say like bismillah before I do anything I say bismillah before I even enter my room or my house I say that I also like do you enter the bathroom? Do you enter the bathroom with your left foot or right foot? I I never paid attention to that. <laughs> I, my mom actually look, <laughs> look, look, they're actually true. Like my mom told me about it. Like she said that you have to use your left foot. But to be honest, you know, I I, I never but, but, paid attention. But did she did she tell you why? Uh, yeah, she said that uh, shaitan, you know, uh, the, the shaitan stories anyway. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm really like now I, finding I, I, a I know problem. you are, are shy to say why, because it's dirty. But this is the most stupid thing. Like you enter the bathroom and if you don't say certain words, shaitan, he will play with the anus of the person. This is the most stupid religion ever. So, but you are a smart person. I mean, uh, uh, how, you, how you can accept for a second to be part of such a cult i mean isn't it obvious it's stupid oh you see the thing i i've been asking uh, I, I wasn't actually interested in even knowing more like before uh before i went abroad um i never was like i never thought of asking more i'm just like okay i will do what they say and it's okay but if I have like some big question, I would just go ask my dad or like go to search in Google. But I mean, you know, like the answers are never convincing. And when I came uh, to China, um, I had like foreigner friends, of course, and they are like Christians or whatever. And I like we start having those, you know, they're asking me about my religion. And I, I never had, of course, the answers because I don't know much. So I ask my dad. And then my dad, when he answered me, I tried to think about it. And I'm like, okay. And then I tell my friends, but then they're still not convinced. And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. This doesn't make any sense. How come? And then I start thinking more and more. And uh, somebody introduced you to me. So I start watching your videos and it suddenly all made sense. And that's why I'm like, okay, so I have to leave. <laughs> but yeah this 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 still i'm i'm now still having a problem with what i told you like the bismillah thing and i i think <clears throat> i don't know what to say like in the name of lord i don't know, you I'm know like it's, you so see it's, it's okay you know i mean i understand like there's there's, there's the things we used to in the language 
but it's, uh, it's okay. Uh, you know, this is not the this is not the issue. You see, we don't focus on the let us say in in, in things is, is meaningless. We focus in in the core. So, in your heart, do you th really think Islam is uh, from God? No, 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 that's no, it. no, you, no! Well, it's that's, impossible. Yeah. It's it's a man. It's it's. It's a man who wrote this, and it's obvious because there is nothing that helps women in Islam. I've been asking this all the time. You no, know, there's good but, things in Islam like, about women. As an example, your husband can beat you. Don't you like that? <laughs> yeah, I I told my dad I was like, why men can uh, beat women? My dad he never touched my mom, but anyway, he was like, well, you have to beat this ones who doesn't listen and i was like but why would you even beat her like divorce her isn't it easier like if she's uh is she's like really really bad and she doesn't listen at all then just and what uh, what about what, what if the man is bad can why the woman she can't beat him if this is the scenario well my, my dad my dad for him he was like ah, divorce him or like you beat him too like have a fight there <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah but it's not the issue of islam you know uh, I know, I yeah. know. So, but you see, the logic is is very awkward. If the woman she is not obedience, or even do you feel rebellion, you can beat her. But what if the man is an idiot? Can the wife she beat him? No. So Islam is a man-made religion. You know, I remember yeah. actually once a lady like you she called me, and she left Islam life on air, and she told me the reason I'm leaving Islam because Islam is man-made religion made by the man for the man. It's not for us as women. Do you agree? Yeah, like just just look just look in all I I also start thinking like why all not without without any exception why all Islamic countries are the worst like especially when it comes to women rights and like what happens to women and not only like poverty let's not talk about poverty but like also the women like the women there are suffering yeah. like suffering Actually, Aisha, she said, I never saw a, 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 a suffering woman as much as a believing woman. Yeah, so she's right. Yeah. I'm so, I'm so, um, I want to ask her too why she's Muslim. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad because now you already said uh, that you don't believe Islam is from God. That's mean you are an ex-Muslim already. That's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I look. If I don't say that, you wouldn't answer me. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, for how long you are w watching my videos? And now channel? it's like I think um, around a month or more than a month now. So, is is that yeah. is that because of my channel? You are convinced Islam is false? Uh, no. Like I've seen also how Muslim interact with you. Okay. And yeah, that's me yeah, because I, of because of my I'm channel. Like, then. Okay. I'm like, yeah, it's okay. That's that's obvious. Like they would answer you like this, and this is how the answers will be. So, mm. yes, yeah, because of your channel. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you are out of Islam and you are listening, and I will be happy to help you in any question you have. Feel free to call me anytime if you have a question. And for me, as a Christian, I would love to invite you to accept my Lord and my Savior, the Messiah. You see, we as a Christians, we love the Muslims. We don't hate them. And this is the difference between Islam and Christianity. In Christianity, we've been ordered to love even our enemy. Jesus said, love your enemy, plus those who curse you. So I say to you, my sister, if you allow me to call you sister, uh, yeah, sure. I invite you to accept Jesus as your Savior because you will see not only a difference, it's the same as difference between light and darkness, between Christ and his teaching and his ethic and his love and so-called Islam or Muhammad in Christianity you are a child of God you are not a slave of Allah in Christianity you are a queen you are not a servant in Christianity even Jesus himself our Lord he is born from a woman so in Christianity we don't put women down and we don't say they will go to hell in Christianity Jesus said he described the church as a lady and he is as the husband so this is how much the the, the, the church for us is a holy name is not 
just a name. So in Christianity, the woman, she is a church. She is the church of the man. She is not a woman to use and abuse. When a man and a woman, they get married, the Bible teach that they will become one. A man, he cannot marry four. Why? Because this is nothing but a lost. A true man, he will have only one woman. Because what four women can do and one woman cannot. That is just a lost. So in Christianity, you will be the queen of your house. You will be the only lady for your husband. He is not allowed to lie to you, and you are not allowed to lie to him. And you will live as one entity, not two person. Yet you are two people, but you will be one. And that's what Christ would do to your family. And even your children, they will be different in ethic, in lifestyle, in belief, in practice. For they are new creatures, new creation. You know, I don't know if you heard a Christian, they say, we are born again. Did you hear that before? Yeah. What do you think yeah. about this word, born again? What do you think? Uh, I don't know. I was never, I, um, I was never like. Do you know what, what, mm, what, what, what they meant by born again? Like when they are Christians or when uh, when they become Christians or like. Yeah, when you become a Christian, when you become a Christian, you are born again. That means that with the Messiah and by the gift of the Holy Spirit, you will be a new person. You are born again. For sure, we are not going to be born the same as a child from his mother. But we are yeah. born with God by the Spirit of God. So we will be new, new people. Will you will renew our life? Jesus, He bring you to humanity back. You know, evil made us evil, make us ugly, make us disgusting, greedy, selfish. In Christ, you will become a new person. That's why you will be born again. So if you if you if you uh, uh, if you like to know more about Jesus and you are interested, I will be so happy to help you. I actually got um, uh, I have like a Bible here. All right. Bec I I actually I'm looking for an Arabic Bible, but I and it's okay. I have like an English Bible. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to like understand what's going on there. Um. Uh, to be honest, Christianity is convincing, but I'm still trying to like take my time in understanding. I mean, there is no other religion I can join to, uh, but like after you know, because Islam is a lie, and as long as Islam took a lot from Christianity, so it means that Christianity maybe is uh, the origin, something the original thing. Yeah, the yeah, the origin. Yeah. So. It's just that I, I want to understand one thing is that how Jesus is God. Because this thing, I, I heard you. I You talked about it so many times, but still, it doesn't, like, I'm trying to understand yeah, let, it more. Let us say, what, what is God when we say God? What what God mean? What do you think what, when we say God? God is like something that, well, it doesn't have a shape. And, of course, it doesn't have a size. So, maybe it's bigger than even anything that you can even like imagine maybe he's yeah like i don't know <laughs> you see until now you are still thinking the same as muslim they think you know you're, Look, you're talking, still, no no hold I'm on hold on it's okay no it's okay it's okay i'm not judging you i'm not you know i'm just trying to help you so when we say god you know in christianity we have different description for god as an example if we go and we read in the bible it says God is love. God is love. You see, what you focus in is a shape, is a look, is etc. This is not really what God is. Christianity have different definition for God. If you go to First John, the book of First John, we will see it says God and is love, and all who live in in love live in God, and God live in them. This is extremely beautiful. So our God is a loving God, and He Himself is love. In all other cults, they focus in a look, legs, hands, how big He is. In Christianity, we focus that God is love, because love is the most extreme power. Make us different 
from other creatures or other creation animals are animals they have emotion yes they have like you know but love is something different different story a human being he have a gift he receive it from God where he receive it only from God only God can give love so when you are a person who live in love you are living in God the Bible said for God is love so in Christianity love make you a high noble person you are out of this world you are flying you are not normal like those people who hate and when I hatred inside them they want to kill each other they want to go for war you are living in love and you are enjoying love and this is what Christianity will do to you God is Almighty yes he is all powerful yes I explained to you that God he don't mistreat women or men when they ask yeah. Jesus what who is going to marry this woman you know when she go to heaven who is going to be her husband who is going to have her he said he and she they will be the same as angels they will not get married so you and me we will always be equal in the front of the eyes of God doesn't matter if you are a male or a female still me and you we are a children of God so in Christianity you go back to your place your place is what to be the child of God so this is why I'm asking you if you like to know about Jesus because I would like really to see you become a child of God to be someone special and to be uh, living living as a special person not only being a special because a Christian you know in Christ we are really new people that's why we spoke about born again uh, when when Jesus said love your enemy if we practice just one sentence of Jesus teaching all mankind history will change imagine because nobody hate anybody everybody love everybody nobody have enemies no criminals no thieves no liars no cheating no war why because everybody love everybody you know yeah, but like CP, you didn't, you just, you didn't answer me. Like, how come Jesus can be God? Why not? Because Jesus no, can be God. I will tell you why. Well, mm. how we know uh, who is God or not? I can say I'm God too, and you can say I'm God. But Jesus is the person who was able to resurrect people from death. Even the stupid mm. Quran confirmed that Jesus can make from the mud a bird. Correct. So mm -hmm. you need to ask yourself, what is the root of those stories? Are they just stories or they are real? So Jesus is a cre the creator. Jesus is a healer. Jesus, he can heal you spiritually, mentally, physically. Jesus, he can do what nobody can do. Jesus controlled the nature. Jesus controlled the earth. Jesus, he forgive your sin. Jesus, he gave us a better life. So being God or saying I'm God it's an easy talk. I mean, to, 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 let us say talk is cheap, right? Anyone can say that. But Jesus is the only one. He proved to be God because he went to death and he came back from death. And people, they saw his disciples, they witnessed him. And even thousands of people, they saw him after he was crucified. So Jesus, he proved not by saying I am God, but by doing what God do. So when we say how Jesus can be God, I mean myself, I ask myself this question. What is the reason for me to believe that Jesus is God? Just because he said the beautiful words? Is that because he say beautiful statement? No, because Jesus, he can do what nobody can do. Things only belong to God. They belong to Jesus. This is why Jesus said, from their fruits, you shall know them. And this is how we know who is Jesus, that he is God, because his fruits, resurrection, healing, making the blind see you touch just his clothes you are healed he resurrect people from death he create eyes he gave eyes he gave life he said i am the life i am the resurrection and he did that so not because he said but because he did too even in the cross jesus he said because he loved everybody he says forgive them father they do not know what they are doing so when we speak about jesus as god is not just a statement it is a witnesses, people who live with him and they die for him. Why the disciple of Jesus, they are willing to be killed 
even they fed them to the animals imagine they come to you and they say hey the, the Roman they arrest you they say if you deny Jesus we will let you go if you don't we will throw you to the lion and people will be watching and he will he will eat you alive why a person like this will be willing to die for a lie because they are yeah. witnessing what happened they saw what happened they are true believers this is why the question always will be you see those are not going to fight so they can get the booty like Muhammad and Muhammad he promised them if you die you will get 70 diversions no they are not fighting with swords they are taking them literally and they are thrown to the animals and all what they need to do to be saved from being killed and eaten by animals is just to deny Jesus but they refuse such a faith have to have a reason because they saw and they witness that he is true i i have I, I have one question it's a little bit stupid because it comes from islam no, it's, it's not okay. no christian problem. No problem. yeah it's like it's like uh in in i as i told you the story is different and in islam they said that uh jesus he well first the name is different and that's a that's only that's a one problem and the second thing is that they said that he talked when his mom brought him, like when she gave birth to him, yeah, yeah. It, 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 this is not true, or is it true? I'm you see, just like here, 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 you need to ask yourself uh, another question. If this is a story, is it true? Why the Christian they will hide it? I mean, this is will confirm even that Jesus is God for them more. You know what I mean? Because he did not wait like other people, like he, they are. They grow, they learn how to speak, they learn language. Uh, this person, he is born. He speak languages. Not only that, he speak wisdom. Muhammad, he waited 40 years. 40 years. And then the angel came and he spoke to him and he squeezed him. Still Muhammad it's don't so understand. Weird. Yeah. So how it's come so Jesus, weird. how come Jesus in the cradle, yet he is talking in the cradle? So this is a story. We believe it's coming from you know fabricated stories. And there's no reason for the Christians to hide it because that will make even uh, our our uh, like uh, we have more proof that Jesus uh, is more powerful, right? I mean, why you want to take it off? You know, you know what yeah. I mean? Like this will make it even more, will make Jesus more amazing. But we reject, and this is additional proof, that the Christians, they have the true book. Otherwise, why we will take such a story away when this story can help us to convince people more to believe in Jesus? But the reason we did um, not accept it because it's false. How, you know, how Muhammad he knew this? When Muhammad he got those stories from Muhammad, he never saw Jesus. He never been in the time of Jesus. He don't learn Hebrew. He don't speak Hebrew. He don't speak a Greek. So where he got this from? He heard it from people. Well, he heard it from people. Well, you see, because <laughs> he said that God talked to him, so that's why. Yeah, people the same as he said. It. The same as he said about Alexander the Great. He found the sun set in the murky water. Right? When they asked him, tell us about Zulqarnain. He said, I will tell you about him. He is a person, Allah told Muhammad supposedly, that he is a person, he took her away, and then Allah gave him the way, like which means he gave him the power, ability, etc. And then he keep walking, keep walking, until he found where the sun set, and he found it sitting in murky water. But the story of Alexander the Great, this is a story, is written by somebody from Syria. It's a fiction story about Zulqarnain. Zulqarnain is a real person. I told my dad. Is Alexander I the Great. I told my dad. Yeah. I told my dad about this. I was like, okay, so this, I told him, you know, the story of Dul Qarnayn in Quran, and he was like, yeah, what's wrong with it? And I was like, okay, so this story is actually not real, and it's just like a fiction story from Jewish people. Like, they, they no, no, no. tell it to. This is not from the Jewish people. No, the Jewish, actually, the Jewish people, they got him busted. They came to Muhammad and they told him, Tell us the story of a prophet Zul Qurnayn. So Muhammad now is as a fool. He prophet. took he took the bite, you know, like like yeah. you know. Sometimes Muslims they call me and I say to them, tell me uh, verses from the Bible of Trump, and they start like they claim to be ex Christians or something. So they start saying, yeah, I know the book, which is obviously they are false. So this is what the Jews they did to to, to Muhammad. They told him, tell us the story of a prophet Zul Qurnayn. Muhammad. He did not answer right away. He waited for a few weeks until he got more information. And then he came back, and now he went to tell them the story. Allah told me. But the Jews, they are laughing because there is no such a prophet. 
and Zul Khurnain is not a prophet. So he took the story, which is very well known, a fiction story between the people, that he is a person who went all the way, he found where the sun set, he found where the sun rise, he built a dam between us and the, the creatures, they are called Gog and Magog. And then Muhammad supposedly he gave them the answer, but the, but then by hearing the answer, the Jews they die laughing. For this is absolutely hilarious, you know. Uh, so uh, uh, th there's a there's a guy. His name is Yasser Qadi. I don't know if you know him. He made a video oh. about Gog and Magog, and if you if you watch it, you will die laughing. The Muslims they are trying to find excuse why we cannot find Enten now, the dam which is built by Gog, uh, built by Zulqarnain, for Gog and Magog. Where are they? Especially the number of Gog and Magog is one to one thousand, which means right now we are eight billion human in this earth. According to <laughs> Muhammad, one human equal to there's one thousand Gog and Magog. So if we are if we are eight billion, they are eight trillions. So where we can find them? Where, where is the dam? We have a map, we have satellite for every spot in this earth, right? So where is this dam? We cannot find it. It's a fiction, stupid story. So the Jews always, that's why Muhammad hated the Jews. They got him busted. They give him a trap. He say the stupid answer and they start laughing at him. The same but as... But you see, when I... Yeah, go ahead. I, I, I understand. I understand the whole story because I watched your video when you talked about it. But when I told my dad, he was like, well, I was like, but this is a fiction story. And he was like, uh, anyway, fiction or not, God is trying to teach us something from it, uh -huh. which is what, you, okay, what we be, learn. What we uh, learn from the story, nothing. I mean, stupid story. What, the sun set in murky water. What the heck is that? It's, it's spring of, I don't know. Not only even an ocean. Like the Muslim, they try to answer. They say, no, no, no. This is from the perspective of Zulkarnain. The verse in the front of us, where it says perspective, he says he found it set in a spring of murky water, boiling water. And not only that, he found near it people. So we are talking about a location. He found near it. What perspective? So they try to 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 cover up, but nobody can cover up. They are out of duct tape, and this is why you, because you are a smart person, you can't take it no more, and you decide to go out of this religion. Yeah. Now the thing is that I'm I'm really like I I don't know how to face my parents to be honest. Do you, I my, do you like I, to invite I, them I to, to talk to me? Do you like to invite them to talk uh, to me? Look, look, I really want you to talk to my dad, but yeah? he can't speak English. I will talk to him in Arabic. Okay, then that's perfect. I really want I want to see his answers when you will ask him because I'm for me I'm I'm not really I I you, wasn't. You, and you I'm speak still Arabic very well, right? You speak Arabic very well. Oh. Uh, Oh, uh, well, he speaks better Arabic than me. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, but but, so, if, but yeah. if I talk to him in Arabic, he will understand what we are saying? Oh, yeah, 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 of course, yeah. Okay, yeah. so you understand, but you don't speak very good. Um, like my Arabic, like the Arabic Arabic is not good, but my dialect is good. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah. yeah. So, if, if you um, want, you can invite your dad and your mom even too. I will be happy to talk to them. I will speak to them too. Very nice, I promise you. Just tell oh, okay. me, just tell me in Skype that uh, you know my dad, you know, agreed to talk to you, and I will be very respectful for them, and I will be do, I will do my best to help them uh, to understand, and we will speak in Arabic, and we can translate to people later what we are saying, no problem. Sure, thank you so much. You are I welcome, appreciate absolutely. It. If you have, yeah. if you have Muslim friends, if you have anyone in relatives, sisters, do you have a sisters, brothers? I have one sister, I have one brother, and I'm I Bring them. because I left now. Yes, I left now. I'm trying to find a way to um try to share your video with them or something. Because I know if I shared your video, they will start telling my parents, Oh, this girl, she wants to do something, blah blah blah. But anyway, um I will I will but you, you the only the only thing is that you have to talk to my dad that's the only i think the solution i here. have no problem to talk to him trust me and i will be so patient with him i will speak nice to him uh, and i will be uh, happy to help him in any way i'm sure he will get a lot of benefit from talking to me regardless of the re result but i think he will leave islam if he if he take what the conversation seriously you know 
If he is, he, if he is sincere to know the truth, then he will leave Islam. I I hope I hope he could like use more logic <laughs> because you know Arabic. No problem. You see, sometimes you see, I I don't use my logic by the way when I speak to people. Like if I, if your dad call me, I will not use my logic. I will listen to him first, and I will use his logic to prove him wrong. I don't use my logic. You see, uh, this is the mistake of many people. They do. They use their own logic, but that will not work. So I used the people logic. When people, they throw something on me, I just throw it back, you know? So just leave that for me and you will see. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah. I'm not going to waste any of your time. You need No, you are not. You are welcome. Day. Actually, I, I believe everybody here is happy to have you. Hey, people here. Say hello to our sister. She is not a Christian yet, but we pray that she will be soon Christian. And even if she is not, God, God, our Lord, He ordered us to love everybody. So show your love to our sister here. Welcome her and tell her she is welcome. You are happy to hear her voice. Just share with her how you feel really about this wonderful conversation. We are happy for you. Even though I do not know yeah, your thank name, you so we, are, much. we are so happy for you. And I was when I heard you first time, like uh, you, you were jumping. I was like, "What happened?" You know, like you, hey, you know, like I don't know what happened. I thought somebody. <laughs> no, because I, I've been trying to call you for a long time, and I, I, I How think come? you called uh, this me. This is the first twice. time I get a call from you. I did not get a call before. No, 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 no. I tried to call you many times, and I think you called me twice. But I was. Oh, you mean to, oh, uh, you mean to, you mean today today. Uh, not today not today today yes i tried like two times before this okay. one but like uh it's been now a week i'm trying to call you All right. <laughs> yeah you called me twice but uh i told you yeah, I, was I see in you class call me I... you call me uh uh yesterday and you call and me before yesterday <laughs> you call me wednesday i don't know yeah yeah i see it now yeah, but you see, I don't know. Uh, there's many people, they lie. I mean, there's a guy, he's yeah, mentally yeah. ill. He called me, he said the F word, you know, I hang up on him. So uh, this is why sometimes I ignore some text. Yeah, but I'm, I'm glad I, I called you today. Oh, thank you so much. I feel so much relieved now after I talk to you. It's just that, um, it's you, like, how am I supposed to do with the thing that I told you? It's like say the bismillah thing and uh, before eating and stuff uh, you know really... you, you speak english say in the name of the lord say okay if you okay. if if you want to be even do it better say jesus in the name of jesus <laughs> uh, i don't mind to be honest yeah okay I just, well you know for yeah. me before i pray i pray in my heart usually i don't pray i don't make loud if i'm a restaurant i don't make people even notice you know uh but I say thank you, Lord, for for the food you give us. Very simple two words, you know. You do not need to make a story and etc. So you can use the word Lord, and try from your heart to speak to the Lord, the true Lord, and He will answer you. I'm sure He will. You know. Just... Uh, this this is one. Uh, thank you. And the second one is that um, the for fasting. I told you before. It, even if the not for the religious part, but I kind of like like fasting so i just i'm just asking like is christianism has like fasting or yeah something? we have we have you see in fact actually some churches depend in uh, uh you know uh, in churches but uh, major churches they fast more than 90 days a, a year not uh not 30 days but our fasting is different you see the muslim when they fast they don't fast really you eat more because what, i know i know yeah because yeah. what you do you switch the day to night, and at night, now your mom, she will make all the shish kebab and the hummus. We start cooking from Yeah, so in the, in the, in the, in, in the Ramadan, <laughs> you, get, you get fat, right? <laughs> yeah, like we start cooking around like 2 until 7.30, like yeah, and we're so just you, cooking. So you are eating yeah. more, and you are eating more expensive food too, because they spend more money on that month. Right, and the price of food go crazy if you live in the Middle East, because simply uh, Islam fasting is a fake fasting. It's the opposite. That's why the price of food go crazy because people are buying more. If they are really yeah. truly fasting, then the price of food should go down because nobody buying too much food. But because they are eating way more, prices go so crazy, and even people borrow money to cover the month of Ramadan. But in Christianity, in Christianity, you can fast any day you want. You know. But fasting, the most important fasting is, 
is fasting from evil, is fasting from being filthy, is fasting from hate, is fasting from hurting. It's, this is the most fasting. The rest, the, the body fasting, this is just a practice of being disciplined, how to control yourself, how to be patient, and it, it help you even if you want to uh, like to, to show to show yourself that I can practice some, let us say, training to my body so I can make my body under my control. And that help you can fight against sin. But the most important fasting is not food. The most important fasting is fasting from evil. Because what the benefit of somebody? He fast, he even pray, but then after he finish both those things, he is the most harmful evil person or he start cursing people so in my country like in in ramadan people start fighting like oh, even yeah. more because Christ. some of them like they have to smoke and stuff and because they are fasting they don't smoke and then they just start like getting mad over yeah, they use nothing it, they use it as an excuse even for violence like don't yeah. talk to me i'm yeah. fasting man come on you know and they start even this they even even crimes if you see if you search on google you will find that the crimes increased three, four times more in the month of Ramadan in Morocco, in Tunisia, in Algeria, in all yeah. Islamic countries. Why? Because, you know, the hypocrisy. There's a lot of hypocrisy. Yeah. Because if you are fasting, fasting from what exactly? You're fasting from food? Well, you know what? I eat once a day. I fast every day. That's me. Based on the Muslim logic, I'm fasting every all my life. So uh, uh, this is not really what makes you a good person. But mm. fasting is not what makes you a good person. It's being good to others, not fasting. Jesus said, it's not what goes inside your mouth, but it is what go from your mouth, what go out from your mouth. So I can eat the most clean food, I can fast, I, but then my mouth is filthy, my mouth is dirty. My mouth harming everybody and even maybe i harm people physically so what the benefit of this fasting so the most important fast is the fast of the heart of being clean and clear in our heart that is the true fasting otherwise all fasting is useless yeah you said you said like people borrow money for in ramadan they borrow money even like in Eid al-adha to buy the udhiyah, like yeah, because come on, the, because it's too like, much expensive. You know, the life is so much oh expensive, God. and then and then this uh, this religion became uh, uh, like a problem because uh, and not only that, you know, you know, like you are coming from the east, like me. So now, like, now we have a tradition. We have to invite the cousins and his wife and his children, yeah. and then we invite us. And when we cannot serve normal food, we have to serve extra expensive food, and that makes these occasions are so expensive. But but you know, in Morocco, yeah. so many people, like so many men, especially men who has like families, they suicided because of Eid al-Adha because they can't. Uh, provide the money to buy Udhiyah. Like, I was, like, so sad when I heard this kind of stories, really. Like, they they suicide just because they can't buy Udhiyah for one year. Yeah, you see... And now it's not now it's not because of the religion it's because of the society oh i have to bring this big sheep because our neighbors got a bigger one so like if i brought a small sheep they will say yeah. that's you and you and you like i'm really you know, like in, wow. in christianity jesus he said when you fast you don't even tell people you don't tell anyone yeah you know <laughs> here they like to brag about it oh yeah. you're fast oh, i'm fasting <laughs> yeah when uh, and jesus he warned us not to be like the hypocrite who, when they fast, they tell everybody, and when they pray, they pray in the corner. So we as a Christian, if we pray, we are not going to tell everybody, I'm going to go to pray. He says, when you want to pray, go to your closet, which means your private room. Uh, if you fast, wash your face, don't show that you are, you, 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 because what you are doing is between you and your Lord have nothing to do with the people. Islam is a show-off religion. Everything is a show off. That's why, you, as you because say, because it came from yeah, because it, because it comes from there. You know, I, I I don't mean no offense, but like uh, Saudi Arab people who brought this religion, like it came from there, and they are like this. So of course, what do you expect? Muhammad is a shallow. Muhammad is a very shallow person, 
And if you ask me, the reason Muhammad he keep giving too much things to the Muslim to do, like uh, like um, the prayer, the ablution, etc., is just to keep you busy from thinking about him being false or not. He gave you too many things to do. So now you are busy with Islamic rituals, but not with God. You are just busy with ritual to the point, as we said, if you want to go in the bathroom, you have to make a prayer. If a man want to have sex, he have to make a certain prayer. Otherwise, shaitan will share his wife with him. Crazy yeah. stuff, you know. So all this stuff is just to make you live in fear. As your mother, she said to you, if you don't pray, all of us, we will go to hell. So your mother, she is trying to make you feel guilty and live in fear in order to keep you a Muslim. This is Islam, is what your mother, she did. Fear, guilt, and then give donation, build a mosque, then you go to heaven. But and I'm talking about building mosques, really. I don't understand why Muslims are trying so hard to build mosques abroad. But they don't allow other religions to build their 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 buildings in because, their country because Islam is a hypocrite, evil religion. This is why, and they are you know, and, it, and because they are afraid. You know, they are afraid that their religion cannot handle it, and people will leave Islam if they see the truth, if they see other uh, the, the true uh, teaching of Christianity. Like in Morocco, they made, know, they made a law. Yeah, as I remember, if somebody left Islam, he you know he will go to jail. No. We, it's not only that it's not only that like the, we had we had some uh, churches there and i think they are clo closed now uh, yeah. uh, i don't i've never seen them open and another thing is that when you if you want to get married you have like it, for for me because i used to be muslim and i came from a muslim family if my husband want to marry me he needs to bring like a paper of a proof that he's a, like if he's a foreigner, Yama, he's a Christian. Oh, well, what? You have to bring a, a paper that he's, he converted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Otherwise, yeah. they would not approve your marriage. Yeah, like, yeah. What, what is this? Yeah. But, you know, at the same time, I met thousands and thousands of Moroccans. They left Islam, you know. Uh, by the way, there is a yes. there is websites. I don't know if you know them. Uh, maybe I can search for them and share them with you. They have a lot of a Christian songs in Moroccan language. Do you know that? Uh, I I don't actually. Do you know? Uh, do you know? Uh, do you know Ah uh, No, no, I don't. I don't really talk to Moroccans because I'm scared of this thing because they judge a lot, especially the Muslim ones. Yeah. Um, so I, I don't try to make any friends with Moroccans or anything or Arab. Yeah. Like I but don't those, have any. You know, uh, <laughs> there is a program. It's called uh, a brother Rashid program. He is an ex-Muslim. He's a Moroccan, wonderful oh. person. You know, you can watch his. You can okay. search his videos. But maybe if your Arabic is not so good, but I will give you a link. Actually, uh, I just search. There is tons of uh, songs. Uh, this website is just uh, Christians uh, uh, convert. They are ex-Muslims. And they became from Morocco, and they become Christians, and they have tons of Christian songs. I just gave you the link; you can open it later. And I'm sure okay. you, will, I'm sure you will like those songs. Just listen to that. Maybe they will help you in a spiritual way. Okay, thank you. And for before sleeping, do do usually Christians like read something? Because I used to read Quran before I sleep. Well, all, and now because yeah, all, <laughs> always you see this is something personal. Uh, yeah. You read when, but you do not need to read. You can speak to the Lord directly. However, it's you know we encourage always the Christian to read every day something from the Bible. Something will help them because you know Christianity is a is a personal relationship with the Lord, not things you must do. Which mean you might feel today you want to read a verse from here or there, something fit with your problems. The Bible help you. You know so. In Christianity, we have relationship. Our belief is based in relationship, personal relationship with the Lord, not in rituals. Reading is you trying to learn more and to be inspired by God teaching. That will be wonderful. But anytime you want, before you sleep, you can speak to the Messiah, 
you can pray to him you can make your wish you, you know, make he will make you feel better and you can give your heart to him however always you can read whatever you want but because you are now new you are trying to learn what do you have to start from the beginning like i advise you to read uh, uh, you know uh, from john read from chapter one the bible is okay. very deep not the same as the quran city book it's very deep book it's very spiritual and try to be spiritual when you read not just read words and if you have any uh, questions anytime you can call me yeah because really i i've been struggling with this since i i, I decided to leave islam because i i told you i'm i used to be like a good muslim and before i sleep i don't know if you know but like muslims like have some surah they will read before sleeping you know like eight kursi and uh yeah, no, no, we, we don't go by those Allah things because those things are fake you know because uh if you see the muslim they read because they fear the those kursi and stuff because they are fear from bewitching and genie and stuff you know i never i never read them for fear i just read them because um my mom told me too. <laughs> this is first, and second is that I got used to it to the point that if I don't read it, I don't but, sleep but if well. But if you if you read them, they are stupid. I mean, what what is uh, special about them? Give me one. Give well, me a, give never... me a, give me a chapter you like, just to go there. Just... No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not trying really. I'm just telling you my story. I'm not yeah, trying to. I think no, no. I'm any... saying. I'm saying maybe because you are used to it, you grow up this this way, so it became like a. Okay. Ayat al-Kursi. Ayat al-Kursi. All right. Let us go to Ayat al-Kursi. And now don't blame me when we start laughing. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's just I got used to it. You know, like, a, let's say like a lullaby for me now. Yeah. So I'm trying to kind of find another way to replace it and read something that it's actually will help me. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Okay. So, you know, if we go to... Uh, uh, to Ayat al Kursi. Even the names of the Quran, I mean, verses, they are really very, very funny. Uh, let us see. Sunnah wa hmm. This is chapter 2, verse number 2255. Allah, there is no God but He, the living, the self submit, sub, uh, sub, uh, subesting. Substain, eternal, no slumber can size him, nor sleep. He is uh, uh, his are all things in heaven and in the earth. Who is there can intercede uh, in his presence, except his permission? He knows what is, uh, uh, you know, uh, what is between his their hand and what is bet behind their hands. His chair is in the size of the earth and the heaven you know uh, mm. and extend over the heaven but this is very stupid by the way if we describe it and then i mean what what we learn from this you know so it is he allah but who is talking allah why allah saying it is he to the cci and then he don't sleep okay and you know nothing take him not the sleep and then everything belong to him okay wonderful and then uh, who can do intercede for him? Nobody can intercede. But different verse in the Quran says you can intercede. Isn't Muslim they believe that Muhammad intercede? So this is have a contradiction. And then here he speak about that his chair is so big, the same size as the earth and the heaven. But this is stupid because the earth if and he the has heaven. A chair, he's sitting. That's stupid. <laughs> yeah, because the earth is inside the heaven. And the heaven is way bigger than the earth. So if his, size, his, his chair is in the size of the earth and the heaven, you know, because the verse says clearly, the size of his chair is the same as the earth and the heaven. So Muhammad, you think that the earth is maybe like a, a, a square and then the sky in the top of it is exactly the same size and Allah sitting in the top of that chair. That is very stupid. You know, and who is talking is Allah. So this verse means nothing, useless. What that can do with you? The same one the Muslim they kiss the black stone. You ask them why the black stone? You know, they say, uh, uh, well, because uh, Allah He sent the black stone. I say, okay, so what? You know, so all those rituals are false. They are meaningless, and especially 
You are not even praying. This is what Muhammad said 1400 years ago, claiming that Allah said that to him. But there is no way Allah is talking, saying, Allah, there is no God but He. You know, why Allah saying that? You know, shouldn't He say, I am Allah, there is no God but I? Instead, He's saying, Allah, there is no God. And I, I, I cannot understand in Arabic how you say, you start with saying Allah. What is the what, what, what is the mean of this? Allah. Suddenly he says Allah. There is no God but He. Okay, who is talking? Yeah, look, thinking about it, why in some verses he's saying Allah, and um, some other verses he's talking with the I. Yeah, you see. I'm like so but, but this confused. Is, but, like, yeah, because Muhammad he forget to switch. You know, Muhammad now is making Quran, so he keeps he he, he forget to say. I am Allah, you know. So he says, Allah said, he doesn't say the word Allah, but he's claiming Allah speaking. Allah, and what, okay, shouldn't you say something? Allah, there is no God but He. What is that? What, what is the sentence? What is the sentence? Allah, there's no, don't, shouldn't you say, Allah, He said, there's no God but He. But here's saying, Allah, there is no God but He. That's somebody taking shahada. So why Allah taking shahada to who? To Himself? You know, he's witnessing that there's no God but He. Actually, there's a verse in the Quran. It says, "Shahid Allahu an la ilaha illahu." Allah, He took shahada. <laughs> you know, yeah. So, Allah, Allah, I don't think I heard this one before. Yeah, but why yeah, Allah will why Allah will take why Allah will take shahada? Here we go, chapter three, verse number eighteen. Read it. Shahid Allah, Shahid Allah, an la anhu la ilaha illahu wal malaika wa ilul alam. So, uh, uh, Allah witness you know the translation is false saying there is no god but he and then they says that is the witness of allah no the arabic says allah he witness there is no god but he you who and why allah saying shahada he's saying shahada to who you know i mean he's he's trying to prove himself to be god to who uh, you know if i witness i witness in front of higher authority like you take me to the judge you say to me okay say the shahada what you saw, what you witness, but Allah He bear witness to who? This is the Quran. Doesn't make sense. So when when a Muslim he repeat before he sleep, etc. He is not even reading anything, or you know, like the yeah, you know, the thing is that you are not allowed to think. <clears throat> this this one, a lot of people would not understand it because I told you now I live in China and China is a communist country. It's also applying the same rule. You are not allowed to think. You are only allowed to listen. So maybe you will listen and read this thing, but you are not allowed to understand the meaning. Because if you understand the meaning, he then will, it will, will leave. make sense. Yeah, the Quran, chapter 5, verse number uh, 101, it says, ask not questions. And verse number 02, it says, why? Because former generation, they asked the same questions and they lost their faith. So the Quran forbid you from asking questions about the faith. You can ask silly questions like, uh, sh should I shave my underarm? As long as the question is silly, those are questions are welcome. The second you ask a serious question, those questions are bad. Why? The yes, Quran explained. It's true. Yeah. Because if you ask those questions, the Quran explained, people will leave their religion. Can somebody question how Muhammad he went to heaven in a few hours and came back? You cannot. You have to accept. Can you ask why even we are kissing the black stone if we are not pagan? You cannot ask. You just do it. You know. You say we believe. We surrender to Allah. We don't. Uh, we don't go by logic. We don't go by why. And you know. We don't ask Allah how we do that and why we do that. Uh, can somebody ask why Muhammad he have a privilege of sex? No. You cannot. He's a prophet. He's above all of us. So he have a privilege. Why we can have four wives, but he can have unlimited? Well, he cannot. He's a prophet. Come on. You cannot do that. And if you ask, you might kill you. So this is what Islam is about. Ask not, because if you ask, you will lose your faith. And this is what happened to you. You start asking yes. questions, and Islam predict that those who ask questions, they will, 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 you know, will, will lose the religion. Because Islam cannot answer the questions otherwise why people will lose religion why they will lose their faith 
if they ask questions. My dad found my dad found that my questions are too much, and he was like, "Go watch that." I don't know his name is Ahmed Dirad or something like this. Yeah. It was like he he debates a lot of Christians and he 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 win them or whatever. But people proved to me that he's lying a lot, and I watched some videos Ahmed of Didat, him as like example, lying. As an example, Ahmed Dirad once he was debating a Christian. <laughs> And he made fun of him. He says, your Bible says that God, he created the sun uh, in Wednesday. Uh, but this is what Muhammad said. <laughs> you know? So, yeah. uh, so this is what the Muslim they do. They go to someone. He do not know Islam. So they can uh, attack, you know? And the other person, he will not be able to answer back. As you see, he made fun. The video is there. Your God, how, how the earth was without light, all this. But the Bible says... In the beginning, God, he created light. He said, let be light, even if there is no sun yet, but light is exist, and he called light day. So, that is a liar. Secondly, as you see, here is the hadith in front of us, and this is Sahih. Muhammad, he said, Allah created the, the earth, the, uh, the sorry, the dirt in Saturday, and the mountains in Sunday, and the trees in, in, in Monday, and the, the, the evil in Tuesday, and uh, the light in Wednesday, but this is exactly what Didat was attacking the Christian with. But this is what his prophet teach. So Didat can make can look like he is smart because simply the other opponent, the Christian, is debating him, he is ignorant. So they can look look like they are. They know you do not know how to answer him. But if Didat is talking to me, I will make him shish kebab in two seconds. Yeah. I have a question for you. Like, right. do you think that? those uh debaters like those muslim imams or whatever they know the truth do you think well you know you see when the muslim wants they ask an, an imam and they insist to get the answer his name is yasser qali they ask him if the quran if we give you a plain papers and we ask you to write the quran again is it going to be different he said those questions should not be asked in public Brother, don't ask those questions. Oh, they those, know. So yeah, so they knew, but in public they don't want people to speak about about it because this will be embarrassment, and will cause people to leave us now. So but they, then if so they, they know, knew, why they knew. are they still? It's a business. Why? Why they're still? It's a business. Believing. Do you know how much oh, money yeah, they are making this from makes, from this business? You know, makes sense. Makes sense. A lot of money. I mean, they are rich. They are filthy rich. You know, like here. Look in in YouTube. I cannot even take donation. Why YouTube always side with the Muslims against us? I can't even keep my videos. I have to delete them every few days. Why? Because you will never find one Muslim channel YouTube taking their videos down. Me, I cannot yeah, I saw, keep my I videos. Saw like, I saw one like uh, like uh, maybe three days ago or something. You had like a live and you showed that. Uh, there is like some higher governmental yeah, the like Pakistan. They... yeah Pakistan they, yeah they banned my books from Pakistan yeah yeah and they banned my link actually my videos uh, yeah but it, this is what Islam is about Islam is Islam need protection without protection Islam is dead this is why you see the Christians here in the chat always they say Islam without lies dies I don't know how many time you heard it Islam without lies dies so in order to keep Islam living we lie to ourselves, we say, oh, Islam is strong, so why you don't allow the Christian to preach the gospel in your country if Islam is strong? Why you don't let people to hear the same as they allow you to hear here? You come here, you build a mosque, you do whatever you want, nobody kill you, nobody go after you. You are even allowed to go and even you insult Christianity in the street and nobody hurt you. Can we do the same in Morocco, in Algeria? Well, no. We have we have my neighbors there is one christian guy his family came from lebanon yeah. and he study in our school and you know like uh <coughs> arab schools they teach uh, uh tarbiyah islamia mm -hmm. like uh, as a subject yeah and he's forced to study it although he's christian and his family like already like told the school and everything but still he has to take that yeah, it's okay. You know, I, like, I studied Islam, so now Islam, I conquer Islam, you know. <laughs> Did not work for their benefit. <laughs> the Muslim, they wish, like, the Muslim now, they wish I never studied Islam, right? They, yeah, they wish, yeah, they made a mistake. Actually, the Caliphate Omar, when he occupied Jerusalem, he forced the Christians, 
in, in, the, in the Pact of Omar, you can go read it, that Christians should not teach their children Islam. Why? Because they don't want the Christian children to know how evil Islam is. So he forbid them. It's against the law to teach your children Islam. If you ask yourself why, I mean, come on, they should be happy that you are teaching Islam. No, because if they teach Islam, then they will be able to refute Islam. They will be able to destroy Islam. We want them to stay ignorant about what Islam is about. Not only that, you know, uh, 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 for me, what wake, woke me up is that when you talked about slavery, when you talked about like Muhammad, when he took that woman, what's her name? And he like killed her family and then uh, he raped her basically. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I never heard those stories. They never told, tell you those stories. Yeah. Like they just be like, oh, God you, is. But did you God, check them out yourself? Everyone, you have to pray. Uh, uh, did you check out the stories after you heard them from me? Because maybe Christian Prince is not telling the truth. Did you check them out? Uh, look. You showed the like the things here. And exactly, um, I show it on the screen, and I I post, I, I I post would, the link. I look, and I post the link. Yeah. I yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't even like say it's lie to be honest, because yeah. I know I know I know yeah. like yeah. you wouldn't be lying to be honest. Why would you even lie? Like no, I show it on the screen. This is the Islamic website. That's not our website, right? Everything we show exactly. is in the screen. That's why the Muslim they hate what I do because I show the evidence. I'm not making a speech showing myself in the camera where people they can say, Oh, he's lying, it's not true. We are showing anything we say in the same spot immediately, not even next year, next tomorrow. Right away, we spoke about it, we show it on the screen, and this is why they cannot refute us. But I'm so happy for you, my sister. And uh, Thank you. let me know anytime your dad you want to speak to me, I will be happy. You know, I don't, by the way, I don't open my Skype unless I am live. So if you try to, I know, call, I know. yeah, if you try to call me and I am not live, my Skype will always will be off. You will see only Skype on only when my I am, I am, I am live. So you can tell me, uh, like you know, you want to bring your dad, and anytime, anytime I'm live, I will be happy to speak to your father. And if you have a question anytime about Christianity, I will be happy to hear you, and I will be happy to invite you to know the truth and to see the light and to know Christ. His name Thank is Thank you so much. His name is amazing. My, my 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 sister, my little sister. I am assuming that you are young. Uh, uh, you know, knowing Christ is the best gift I can give you. I can give you. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, uh, you know, I cannot offer more than. The best I have, and the best I have. Well, is you offered a lot, like with your answers, like you offered already a lot. So thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Well, I, I will. I will leave you now, and I will. Yeah, I will. I will try to um, find a, a time, and yeah, I will try to invite my dad to talk to you. All right. Well, thank you, and God yeah. bless you, and we will pray for you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank bye you. Bye. Take, take care. Bye. Bye. Take care. And don't forget to open the website I just gave you about the Christian. Uh, let me actually share the website with everybody. Have a beautiful songs in Morocco, but all of them they are made by ex-Muslims, Christian songs made by ex-Muslims from Morocco. You can open it and you can enjoy the songs there. Now, for sure, the tone, the music is a Middle Eastern style, but the words are really. You know, and as you see, like even you know what what happens sometimes that even those who leave Islam because they use the to use the word Allah still they are uh, you know we are trying always to make those who leave Islam stop using the word Allah. Allah is not our God. Is not. Allah is a word contained two words Al and La. La is the moon God. Uh, it take a lot of work. But it's going to happen. Anyway, I think we have more than enough for today. Uh, if you like what we do here, don't forget to subscribe. And you can join us always in our channel. Invite your friends. Uh, if you are a Muslim, you like to call me, please let me know. Uh, always we open our Skype when we are live. And I would be happy. If you are a sheikh, if you know a sheikh, please invite him. I'm sure even the Muslim will be interested to see 
a speech or talk, a dialogue between two people, both they claim that they have knowledge. So if you have a shaky claim, and I claim, then people will be able to judge to see who knows and who don't. And the one who cannot answer, obviously he is following the false God. So we are Christians, that means we are victorious. And our victory is not about defeating Muslims, no. As you see, how beautiful to speak to this sister. We don't hate Muslims, and we will never hate them. The victory we speak of is saving them, not hating them. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus No turning back No turning back The cross before me The 